वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेव गाइड मोड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द वेव गाइड एंड इट्स जनरल स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस मोड्स डेट आर पॉसिबल इन द वेव गाइड सो दैट इज डिस्कस अबाउट द मोड फर्स्ट सो ईच एंड एवरी वेव गाइड हैज़ ए इन्फाइनेट नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड कॉन्फिग्रेशन that can exist inside it and this distinct electromagnetic field configurations are termed as modes so in general each and every wave guide have the five possible types of modes so depending upon the different different electromagnetic field configuration these modes are varies in the different type of wave guides so let us discuss about the five modes so following five modes are coming out to the mode number 1 that is te mode so here te mode represents transverse electric mode so it is defined as transverse electric mode in case of te mode there is no component of electric field in the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave so in case of te mode there is no component of electric field in the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave since there is no component of electric field in the direction of propagation of electric field and we notice that our em wave is propagating in positive z direction so this implies that the electric field component in the z direction that is represented as ez is equals to 0 so this is the basic condition for associated with te mode now let us have a look at second type of mode that is tm mode tm mode represents transverse magnetic mode so it is defined as transverse magnetic mode in case of transverse magnetic mode there is no component of magnetic field in the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave so there is no component of magnetic field in the direction of propagation of em wave or we can say that electromagnetic wave since we know that 
our electromagnetic wave is propagating in positive z direction and it is not having any component of magnetic field in this z direction that's why we can conclude that the hz component will be equals to zero in case of tm mode let us discuss about third type of mode that is eh mode eh mode is represented as hybrid mode why it is considered as a hybrid mode because we have discussed that the in the te mode the component of electric field is equals to zero in the z direction and in the tm mode the component of magnetic field in the z direction is equals to zero but in case of eh mode neither the component of electric field nor the component of magnetic field is zero in the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave that's why due to this reason we can say that it is a hybrid mode so we can write it as the ez component or the hz component are not equals to zero now we have to discuss that why it is known as eh mode why e is coming first and h is coming after this e because the reason due to this fact is eh mode are the hybrid mode and these are also known as the characteristics of the transverse field are controlled more by the ez component as compared to this hz component that's why we called it as eh mode so the characteristics of transverse component or we can say that transverse field are controlled more by ez component as compared to hz component of the electric field that's why it is known as eh mode now let us have a look at the fourth type of mode that is he mode H E mode is also described as a hybrid mode. In this hybrid mode, neither the electric field component nor the magnetic field component is equals to zero. So it is just similar to the E H mode. but the basic difference between the es mode and the he mode is in case of the he mode the characteristics of the transverse field is controlled more by the hz component as compared to this ez component that's why in this naming convention h is written before this e so the characteristic of transverse field are controlled more by hz component as compared to ez component that's why h is written first and then e is written let us discuss about the last mode that is tem mode tem mode stands for transverse electromagnetic mode
now tem mode is also known as transmission line mode it is also known as transmission line mode since it is known as transmission line mode that's why there is a requirement of center conductor for the propagation of wave through tem mode so we can write it as these modes can exist only if center conductor or the second conductor exist within the wave guide such as the center conductor in case of coaxial cable that we discussed so this is all about the five modes that are being possible inside the wave guide if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you